day everybody it's Katinara here and welcome back to Witcher 3 so I think we could just continue with the main quest right now sounds like a decent plan for now oh he's down here oh oh mine That high up, <laughs> that he would die. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We just start from here. <laughs> well, anyways. Ah, there's so many people in here. Let me go. I'm stuck. Too many people here. Okay. Let's try to be a bit better about this this time. Shall we? Alright, here we go. Alive this time. Ooh. Anybody there? Open up. Well, calm down. No need to be so angry about it. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben we'll have time to see you. Wanna bed? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. Hello, happen. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Ooh, we are going to bath together. Fancy. Happen, thank you. Your equipment will be safe. I see you. Sure. Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hi, boy. Hey. Nice bunny you have. <laughs> he will ride. And if he doesn't blush, then I'll do them to shove it off the corpse. Oh, gee, everyone is commenting on his butt. Easy, Cleaver. Oh, son, Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Need to be careful Why with the these fuck people. You let him in here, because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? As I said, Geralt of Rivia. Think I'll let your host introduce me. He's a witcher. The very one who first foiled an attempt on Foltest's life, and then killed that monarch. Allegedly. But I didn't kill Foltest. And hello to you too, Dijkstra, Reuven, whatever they call you these days. Last we met, Geralt thrashed me silly and crushed my ankle. I really wonder what he's got in store this time. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. 
What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Oh, we are starting to hitch with that kind of thing. First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. Ah! You don't seem to be very happy with your life. You were a mate. You'll never learn. Ouch. Oh, okay. Don't let me check the police then. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse son scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam, you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. <laughs> Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse sons out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to horse sons' hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, wanna find horse son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanet. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. 
Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. <laughs> Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect, but we just don't talk about it. No need to. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake. Someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet, lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. I now, think I've... Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. I think I've got a news to go into this mess of power game. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything, not anyone, and especially not the sorceress of the lodge. Philip Eilhart, had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. From master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. The time I worked for myself, and thus far, it's been going rather well. 
Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. <laughs> Everyone does. Serious. Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely <laughs> you understand why. how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. <laughs> Got my own problems. <laughs> problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tripe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Ooh, secret hidey holes. Be so kind as to follow me. All right, I will follow you. Uh, should I? Oh, I just fell down. Just a second, I'm going to... Uh, what quest is this? Ah, follow the... the, the strap is this one. Well, you are plenty fine. Oh, Bart, not again. Bart. Bart, stop that. Now. Bart, man. Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, hurt. Bart, less thinky. But less thinky, but sadness. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot's there. Ziggy bad take. Good Ziggy. Pumpy horses. So camels. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until <sighs> recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God. Then boom! Chorfun, go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. 
sign. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Jorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shrooms, head falls. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. I told him, Fonce, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it...? No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. 
Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. So you're saying we are going to drive into this place, right? Lion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? That's exactly what I want to ask. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. I should. Ah, uh, then I thought Witcher's potions were vile. Pipes great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. Bits of pile of magic. Here. This it was, was no one spell. powerful it blast. Was a bomb. How are you? Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Why are you speaking two things at the same time? Drowners. I mean, this is a sewer. What do you expect? Ouch. Perch. Perch very much. Just a second. The thug Dijkstra hired. Anyone else? Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy. Need to burn the corpses. Otherwise, Drenners will never stop congregating. Getting close. Put my source on really bad in really bad condition. Hmm. Bottom of a container. Silver cylinder most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped. Probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be gold coin. That'd be it down here. Smells like see Dijkstra. Wyvern oil. And caramel? Calm down, Carol. You're speaking like million things at the same time. Okay, how do I get out of here? Ooh. Tracker boots, are you any good? Heck yeah. And I'm in the water. Let's go. I think I could change things a little. I don't think I need that anymore for now. And let's just put food items in here. By the way, what could I level up? Okay, there's no like new spaces. But we could get something. We could maybe improve our fast attack because we use it a lot.
But is there anywhere where I could fix my sword? Like seriously. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Oh, I'm supposed to. Sorry. I wasn't concentrating on things. Found a second corpse. One of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonz. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. I mean, that's kind of obvious. A silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right. I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. All right. So time to look for clues. Since when did this turn into like Phoenix Wright or something? Nothing here. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Can you do anything else about it? And say that it is oil? No? Oh, it's still red. Oh, there's something there. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. 
Happen. Drain pool four and bring me the guest book. Chop chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once, too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coot's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral, but I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator? Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain! And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! I guess we could at least go to there for now. I think we are, after that, we are nearing the end of the episode. Don't know. But what Geralt said, like, what has Dandelion gotten himself into this time? I agree on so high level right now. I, I want to say the exactly same thing. What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. I'm supposed to break this door. Footsteps. So one speed here. Ooh, books. You know what I know about books. Why did I ignite that? I'm always in the books. What are you doing, Geralt? I'm always in the reading. Have I read this? I have had this book a few times, but I don't think I've actually read this one. Human life requires three things for its sustenance, food, drink, and gossip. It is thus no wonder that no matter where I travel, be it icebound boys or evergreen to saint, everywhere, everyone asks me about the passions that bind Geralt and the sorceress Jennifer of Vengerbert. As a man both cautious and discreet, I refuse to betray their secrets, with one important exception. The history of their first encounter is so extraordinary, so romantic and moving, that it would be a veritable crime to hide its light beneath a bushel basket. Indeed, had I not witnessed these events in person, I would never believe there was room in our grim and dark world for such fantastic marvels. It all began when Geralt 
sorry. It all began when Gerald and I were feeling a bit peckish and unburdened by heavy gold coin pouches. Decided to fish our supper out of a lake. No bites were to be had, but we did not live empty handed. My hook stacked quite a lonely little boat. Oblivious to my friend's warnings, I opened it and in doing so freed a powerful gin. Without giving it much thought, I set about proclaiming my wishes. Before I could get the tree, however, the gin irritated, I see now in hindsight, at being issued demands so soon after waking, began to throttle me. Gerald was able to drive him off, but I was left in a sorry state. I acted to be told me later, as stood under the influence of some curse. Clearly the help of an expert in the magic arcana would be needed. It was our good fortune that Jennifer of Wengenberg happened to be staying in a nearby village. Gerald went to her to ask that she hear his best friend, who happened also to be the brightest star in the Nord's po poetic firmament. Jennifer, however, was more interested in the gene, which she wanted to trap into magic servitude than in its victim, and it should be said, playing the witcher, played the witcher like a well-strung mandolin. Yet rather than grow angry at being used in such calculating manner, he fell white head over muddy boots in love with her. What happened then? Well, I won't go into the details. Suffice to say that Jennifer's plans hardly delighted the gene, and without its cooperation she provided, proved unable to take it. The sorceress could surely have made a tragic end and taken all of Rind along with her, but Geralt not rushed to her rescue. rescue. For once, he did not need to draw either of his plates to send the gene packing. He had put, the, put to, but to pronounce the third and final wish. He could have asked for anything, wealth, fame, power, but instead he asked the gene to bind his fate so to that of the arrogant yet intriguing sorceress from Wengerbert, Julian Alfred Bankrad's Viscount of Ledenhoborn, 1232 about winning poet, playwright, and troubadour, frequent performer of the, at the courts of Nier, Damir Visimir, Wenslav, and many other nobles and notables, alumnus at Oxenfurg Academy, other words than the lion, or Jaskier, whatever you want to call him. Sinilla Fiona Ellen Ryan, born in 1251, heiress to the throne of Sintra. Princess of Prague and Duchess of Sodom, heiress to Inis Artskelik and Inis Artskelik and suzerain of Adra and Apiara, daughter of Pavetta, see Pavetta Fiona Ellen, and the origin of Elevant, see Emperor One and Emrys, granddaughter of the famous lioness of Sintra, Queen Kalant, see Kalant Fiona Ryan. A shipwreck occurred during a journey from Sintra to Skellig, which took the lives of the Urgeon and Pavetta. Silla's further upbringing was then entrusted to her grandmother. Grandmother, in 1260, afraid of the looming Nilfgaardian threat, Queen Kalant sent Silla to the court of King Erwil, the Erwil of Verden, where the heirs of Sintra was to marry the Earl to the throne of Verden, Prince Kistrin. See Kistrin of Verden. Though allying with Verden and gaining the aid of that realm army was at the time the calendar's top priority. No marriage ever occurred and Silila returned to her grandmother's court. In 1262, during the so-called Sintra massacre, Silila went missing. Careful you source. Sword soldier. A soldier can wear a dirty jerkin, rank food clothes, and stained cleaves. A soldier can walk around unshaven, can stink to high heaven, or even have the match, mage. But his sword must always shine as if straight from the forge, for in a battle, neat clothing and an eye pleasing appearance will not save anyone's life. But a sword will, as long as it's well cared for and the man at the dull end knows, knows what he's doing. So how should you care for your blade? Simple. After every battle, wipe all the blood and guts off of it. Take an oil-soaked line and wrap and give it a good wrap down. If you are fighting in swamplands or in heavy rain, it's worth your time while to coat the blade in beeswax. 
You should sharpen it ed its edges regularly using a good whetstone. It's important to take your time in doing this. Each movement should be steady and delicate, like you're stroking a virgin on your first night together. If your sword develops rust, it means you are slovenly and lazy off. Take some sand in your hand at once and score the blade till its stems disappear. Take heat though, not to cut your fingers in the doing, for then you won't be any good to anyone. The land of Velen, located in western Temeria with its capital in Golsvelen, is one of the poorest provinces in the kingdom. Its territory encompasses the Isle of Thaled, home to the famous Magic Academy, which along with Golsvelen constitutes the commercial and developmental mainspring of the entire province. Velen is a stop on the Novigrad trade route running through Sidalis, Vergenbruck, Sintra and other such Southerny grounds. Belenars subside primarily on agriculture, crafting, and animal husbandry. The province is practically deprived of all natural resources. It contains a great deal of forests, wetlands, and cultivated woods, though the greatest part of it is covered in swamps and bogs. That's all. Uh, so I think after reading all of that, um, it's time to finish this episode here. So I hope you like this and bye bye.